Hey everyone, Steve Savage here. Just uh, doing the first entry for my video log. I want to thank my friend Tamar for giving me the idea because, hey, it's not like I don't have enough to do already. And seriously, I find this kind of goes with my other work with Seventh Sanctum, my blogs, and my other projects. It's a chance to mess around with iMovie and to try something different. So, let's see how it works out. And uh, to introduce myself, one of my big things is I talk about professional geekery, write about professional geekery, and so forth a lot. It's kind of my thing, is how people use their hobbies and jobs and their careers. So let's take a look at the kind of stuff that I'm going to be talking about here and what I mean by that. So, how do I define being a professional geek? Simple. First, a professional geek does what they love for a living, when possible. Now, if you're into video games, hey, it's easy to think of many careers based on that. On the other hand, of course, if you're a neuroscientist or a proctologist, then I don't really want you combining your hobbies and your career, because that might turn you into the subject of a police investigation or an inspiration for a really disturbing horror movie. So use your discretion. Second, a professional geek turns their hobby into a professional opportunity. It could be a chance to gain leadership skills by running a convention, or when you go to that self-same convention, maybe you take business cards, network a bit, look for people for your company or your own business. Take those opportunities in your hobby to grow and expand professionally. And finally, a professional geek turns professional opportunities into fun. They combine them with their hobbies. Need to do a team building exercise at your company? You're a video game nut. Get everyone into Team Fortress 2 and see what happens when they try to cooperate. Or maybe just run really bad science fiction films and have everyone bond over those. But take your professional opportunities and turn them into fun. Combine them with your hobbies. You'll get new inspiration, make new friends, and probably make work a lot easier on everybody involved. Now, why do I support professional geekery? Simple. First, you do best at what you love. If you hate doing something, you're going to kind of suck at it. So, turning your hobbies and interests into a career is a good idea, if only for the fact that you won't be incompetent, or at least as incompetent as you could be otherwise. Second, you won't get bored easily. Boredom is the nemesis of happiness, productivity, and sanity. So doing what you love for a living is a good way to stay interested. Third, it's honest. Who wants to spend all their time doing something they hate, uh, putting a smile on their face, and acting like they really care? You've probably been there. And finally, when you do what you love for a living, you're more creative and, quite frankly, less likely to snap and get sick of everything you're doing. So that's why I support professional geekery. Better to do what we love and be good at it than to hate it and not be that good at it. So, what am I going to do here in this vlog? Well, I'm going to talk geeky careers, which, of course, I already have, so that's no surprise to you. It's kind of what I do, what I talk about, and my big interest. I'm also going to talk culture, because culture relates to technology, to geeky things, and because it's what I do anyway. I'm going to rant randomly at times, and possibly incoherently, about a variety of subjects. And, of course, there's always the chance I'll express my ignorance of vital issues cloaked in the form of wisdom and the self-delusion I know what I'm talking about. But hopefully at least the first two, if not three, of this list is going to provide you with some useful information, where the last will at least be amusing and possibly humbling. So, that's what I'm going to do here. Now, in case you wonder what else I do besides making this video log, uh, there's several projects I have right now. I'm one of the people that runs Fandapro.com, a blog of professional geekery that was started by my friend Bonnie and I. And we're actually looking to expand it all the time, so drop on by, and if you like what you see, maybe you can uh, write with us as well. I do SeventhSanctum.com, which uh, usually results in people saying, oh, you're that guy, and they find out that I'm not a group but one person. Seventh Sanctum is a page of random generators that I've honestly been doing for 12 years in one form or another. 
I do stevensavage.com, which is kind of obvious, but it's a great place to go in order to look up stuff I'm doing, and if you're trying to find out about my other efforts, check it out. And I've uh, just started an experiment called AskStevenSavage.com because since I'm doing this video log and I get questions about careers and so forth, I figure it's a way for people to reach me and maybe I'll read the letters and stuff here and see if I can help some folks out directly. Especially because as I record this near the end of 2011, the economy sucks so badly I think it has an event horizon. So that's what I'm usually up to. Go check them out, folks. Hello everyone, thanks for signing in to my first vlog, putting up with my experiments with various iMovie special effects, and tolerating my sarcasm. We'll see what comes next as I experiment with this thing and work on bringing some enlightenment and fun through my video camera and into your room, which, now that I reflect on it, just sounds kind of weird. Let's see what happens next. Take care, everybody.